Very good morning to you. Our text today is James 2 verse 23 through 25. Our heading, Real Faith. This woman's obedience also arose out of real faith and was the exponent of that faith. For when she tied the scarlet line in the window, she expressed her confidence in the fact that Jericho would be destroyed and that she would be saved because she had received a promise to that effect. She would not have hidden the spies if she had not believed in their God, and after having done so, if her faith had failed her, she would not have compiled with a covenant requirement to hang the scarlet line in the window. So, firstly, brothers, obey in faith. The obedience of the slave is worth little. The obedience of the child is precious, for it is the fruit of love. That keeping of God's commands, which comes of slavish fears, lacks the very heart and bowls of obedience, for love is absent. But as God's dear children, resting alone in Jesus, confiding in your Father's promise, feel that because you believe you must obey, not because you dread hell or expect to win heavens through any work of your own, but because you have believed in Jesus to the salvation of your soul, and therefore it is your joy to do his bidding. And secondly, these men have made a covenant with her that she should have her life spared and the lives of her family if she concealed their secret and if she tied a scarlet line in the window. As she tied that line, she did, as it were, say, I claim the covenant that you have made with me. So, friends, let us speak about this for a moment. For we want more and more to be able to appropriate covenant blessings. Application this. How do we appropriate Jesus? By simple faith. Faith is the hand which touches the head of the great sacrifice and lays sin upon it. That sin may no longer lie upon the sinner. Faith grasps Jesus as the bread of life and makes that bread to be our own, that we may feed upon it, and may live forever. And I pray, O oh, bread of life, thank you that you ordained it in such a way that we may feed on you. In Jesus' name, Amen.